This is Exiles TV, and with me at the moment is David Pipe. Afternoon, David. Afternoon. Okay. Now, obviously, I don't want to delve too much into the background. We know, obviously, um, you got released from prison. You arrived at Newport County. Uh, how, how did that come about? Was the club approached you, or, or did you get in contact with them? Um, my agent at the time used to come and visit me when I was in prison, um, Cyril Regis. We spoke slightly about it. Obviously, the, the circumstances of being on tag and whatnot when you come out, everything seemed to knit together. So, as well as being very grateful for the opportunity, I just went down and went on from there, basically. Was it a big relief to get a club so quickly? Yeah, obviously. Um, it's a, you've got a lot of time of thinking in there. And your, your thought process is all over the place. So when something half solid was put in front of me, I, I tended to grab it with both hands. Now, obviously, uh, Anthony Hudson was the man in charge when, when you arrived. Yep. He left, I think it was sort of three or four weeks afterwards. Yeah. Uh, were, were you disappointed by that, or, or is that part of football? Um, I'm not sure if disappointed would be the right word. Obviously, um, football is a, is a cruel world. It can be for players and managers, and we've all... We've been, if you've been in a long time like myself, you, you see people come and go and from all different reason, reasons and different angles. So I think as an individual, you've just got to kind of say your goodbyes and move on. Now, Braintree away was your first game back. Um, how did that make you feel to be, to be playing football again? It was a strange one. Um, I had to get there myself due to my arrangements, but um, it was just good to be out there in the fresh air, if I'm being honest. And, um, the crowd wasn't massive, but to me it probably felt bigger than it would have if the circumstances were different. But no, I really enjoyed it. Obviously the result wasn't the best, but kind of spurred on from there. Now, it was a poor start last season. Obviously we, we were involved in a, a bit of a battle all year. Um, it did end up with that day out at Wembley. How, how was that for you? Um, I think I could sit here for about an hour and I'll be able to describe it. <laughs> um, obviously the poor form, yeah, I was, I was kind of involved in that myself. It was towards the end of obviously the manager leaving. But um, I'd like to think, since uh, the new manager came in, the record, if you look at it, within 20-odd games, I think we lost three times and things like that. When you compare it to the beginning of the season, it's a massive step. And obviously the bonus of the hard work of both staff and um, players got us to Wembley. And the day itself was just magical. Now you've committed yourself to Newport County, obviously, for another season. Yep. Was, was that a big decision? Yeah, um, like, again, I don't want to keep going to the past, but my decisions these days are made from different circumstances. Um, obviously, I haven't lived at home since the age of 15. That's one big factor. Coming out there was another big factor, but I think the main one was the club actually gave me the chance to get back into something that I love doing. So, as well as repaying on the pitch performance-wise, I, I think it was uh, the right thing to do to sign another season. Now, obviously, we've moved from Spitty Park to... Yeah. Over to Rodney Parade. What do you think of this place? No disrespect to Spitty Park. I know it's just memories to a lot of people, fans and players and whatnot, but if anyone can give me a negative about this place, I call them a liar. It's the, great. Both it is. pitch, facilities, everything, atmosphere. The, you can feel the crowd. Instead of searching for the crowd, you know they're there. When you're running down that line or whatever, you can hear them. And with the track around it, Spitty, unfortunately, you couldn't. It's not just about the acoustics as well, it's, it's the playing surface here. Oh, the surface is second to none. I've played at most levels from championship downwards and I used to come there years and years ago when it was um, pre-season of rugby games and I used, I used to say then to the boys it's, it's a really good surface but now that extra little added bit of uh, care and attention and it's really good, it's up there with the best. Who do you feel will be the key players for County this year? Um, it's difficult to say. Um, I'd like to think that a few that you wouldn't will step out of the shadows. It's, it's easy to sit here and name a few because of um, past and present or whatever, but at the end of the day, when, when the season starts, that's when they see what players are, are going to be the ones for you in that season. And I'd like to think that I would be up there. Excellent. All right. Thank you very much for your time, David.